I'm holding a cat. So you can probably te tell that I'm going to talk to you about cats. The official title of this is actually about obsessions or special interests in autism. But I'm talking to you mainly about cats because my special interest is cats. This is Blissy. Say hello to the camera, Bliss. Um, so I have always loved cats and I think the unofficial term for it for people before the diagnosis is obsessions. But when you get a diagnosis, it's got a special term, it's called a special interest. And I like to think that I take living with an obsession or a special interest to a whole new level. A special interest or an obsession within autism can be as general or specific as you like, and it can be on anything and everything. Think of it like a zoom. You've got a zoom and it, sees, and it shows you the whole of the of the universe, and then it zooms in on our galaxy, then it zooms in on Earth, and then it zooms in on our country, and then it zooms in on our city, and then it zooms in on a part of that city, and then it zooms in on your house, and then it zooms in on your bedroom, and then it zooms in on you, and then it zooms in on your eye, and then it zooms in on an atom in your eye. And that's a bit like what it could be. It could be a general as a sub the whole of the subject at school, so math, science, history, art, geography. Um, it could be on maps, um, vi all VIPs and celebrities and how it works. It could be on animals. Um, and then it could be on a particular number in that, or for me it's cats, um, or a particular place in the world, it could be on transport, and it could be on cars, and then it could be on a particular type of car, or mechanics. But if you like cars, for instance, you don't find yourself sleeping in a garage every night. And if you love Ferraris, you don't go and sleep in your Ferrari, in a Ferrari garage every night. You don't break in to a Ferrari garage near you and sleep in one of Ferraris every night, do you? But mine's cats. So what do I do? I live with cats. I spend time on cats. I spend money on cats. I dream about cats. I dream with cats. And you can think that you spend so much time on this subject that it can fill up your world. For instance, people sometimes ask me, why don't you do something about it? I said, well, if I could, I would. I sometimes think if I could, you could do so much with it. You could create a career out of yourself with the energy you use. I work really hard on an ordinary job and work up the ranks of that job and become a boss of that job. You could find a partner, settle down and have kids and have a house and the thing. You could create world peace or stop Brexit as it is or ch um, stop global warming as it is at the moment. And you would have things like being rich, successful and famous or having a loving partner and kids in this house in the suburbs that I talked about, or another prize. As a matter of fact, a good example of how much energy and effort goes into a subject is, I can't remember her ne uh, second name, but the Greta something, the girl who's um, b going around talking about global warming to the authorities, as a, you know, I don't know how old she is, she must be a teenager. Um, she her, she's autistic and her special interest she reports is global warming um, and you can see how much she's done with it and how much effort and time she spent on it um, but you can't so what do you have instead well I have at least three cats at a time
time. Now you met Bliss earlier at the beginning. This is Willow. He is cat number two of my family. Cat number one is this picture on the screen. He's called Puskin. He's the oldest. Actually, no, he's not. He's cat number three. Bliss is cat number two. Um, so you can see I have at least three cats in the house at a time. And I say three because one of the things that I do with my special interest is that I foster um, cats. Um, I do lots of other things about it and I'll talk to you about that in, in a minute. Um, and I have a house full of cat stuff and I don't just mean things for the cats like cat food bowls, cat biscuit tins with pictures of cats on it for some reason. Um, cat scratching posts. I mean things like cat junk, so cat toys, pictures and postcards of cats, um, cat things. I mean, for, one, for one instance, if you haven't noticed already, this is cat oriented. This is a cat jumper, which has cat paws and cat ears and you put your cat in this pouch. Uh, so I have cat clothes as well, so I have hundreds of cat socks and a few cat jumpers and things. Um, so you can collect a quite big collection. And you may think I'm joking about the fact that you can't ch choose your special interest. If I haven't said that already. I let me give you an example for how it doesn't work like that. I met a girl at an autistic meetup group. Her special interest is a bit like having a celeb crush. She will fixate on one or more celebs in the media, whether that is film, TV, um, social media, or news-oriented media. Um, and at this particular meetup, she was talking to someone about the fact that she hadn't had one in a while. And with all the politics in the media, and especially the politics in, going on in America at the time, she was worried that she would go back to Donald Trump, which she wasn't happy with in, in the first place. She didn't want to do again. So it's really, really difficult. It can be really difficult to, to, start, to explain how it feels. Um, the best way I sometimes describe it is like, if you have a, a leaky... Um, reciprocal full of water, it drips to the lowest point by those cracks, by any means possible. Um, but for, for people who are on the outside, it would sound a bit more like the dog from up. You know the dog from up? The one who keeps talking about um, squirrels halfway through the sentence. Hi, how are you? Cats! What you been up to? Cats! It's a nice weather outside. Oh look, it's a cat! Actually, by the way, it's not a nice weather outside at all. But, you know, okay, isn't it horrible weather outside? Talking about the weather and some, something comes up randomly. Be inside in our head as well, a bit like that. It suddenly pops in, that's what I mean by it will flow in. But it will sound like that in the middle of it because I want to try and talk about cats and bring it to thing. It's a bit like a, a teenager who's fallen in love for the first time. If you ever, anybody ever had a teenager or remembers this, you want to bring your the subject back by any means possible to this crush you have at the point, whether it is, you know, my nose, my nose is itchy. Well, my partner, ha my new boyfriend has a nose. You know, it can be a bit like that. Um, now, if we're going around inside our head when we've got it stuck in our head, it can be a bit like a broken, stuck record. Or sometimes I like to describe it like the rabbit song from Chaz and Dave. You know the one that goes rabbit, 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 rabbit. Be like, cat, 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 cat. Now, you can 
see that I have a, it's a big a subject, and that's because it's stuck. In fact, I have more um, anecdotal cue cards on it than anything else. I have nine cue cards, and that's not for ones left over from the talks. That's just cue cards which I've done from the jokes I've made over the years on it, and I have about five maximum of anything else. Um, and I said that you can't choose it, but when I say you can't create a career out of yourself or work at an ordinary job, it's not quite true. Because what you can choose to do is channel that particular special interest into a job. Now, if it's mechanics, like I was talking about um, earlier, then there's a job for you already. Um, sometimes there's already jobs out there, conventional jobs out there that you can work at and you'll be brilliant at it and you can make your own business at it and you'll be so obsessed with it you would work at it. Well, now, sometimes you can make a new business. New business. So, a couple of things I'm doing with my special interest is that I'm in the background as well as doing this, an animal healer and communicator. Um, I do sort of holistic animal health and I've specialised on cats because I've researched so much about cats I know quite a lot about how their behaviour works or partly from the research actually but partly from the experience of having cats for 26 years. Um, the other thing you can do is you can do a home life and your hobbies and interests on it. So Social media is quite good for that. In fact, the pictures that have come up here on your screen are pictures of a collage of pictures that I've stuck on my social media, partly for my business, partly just for fun. I also go cat showing and I do a hashtag routine called Mogs Make Winners Too, where I show Willow, who is my rescue mog, um, at cat shows because lots of people think that you can only show a purebred cat um, and get anywhere and so I'm going to prove that he can get as high as any purebred cat which is I think winning an Olympian which you sort of work up the ranks um, and I can talk to you in the next blogs if you want to about more about my special interest and what I do with that um, so yes but social media is a good way and it's also sort of links into another one which is blogging and blogging um, which are good ways you can do a scrapbook um, on the screen here are three scrapbooks one is on cats and the other is on another special interest which is planning and organizing house parties of my own um, which goes into planning parties which are themed I've done cat themed parties because I have so much decor, I have also got games and knowledge that you can do it. You can do quizzes and therefore you will feel really good playing um, being a master of a quiz because you know all the answers and you've got this sense of hierarchical feeling which is quite good for autistic people. Um, so you can do lots with your special interest, you just can't necessarily choose what it is. I want to explain to you one part of the thing about cats. Now, people have asked me why I like cats so much. It starts a bit like um, a snowball. You make a small snowball in your hand and you drop it on top of a mountain and it starts rolling. So something always triggers it and then it starts building up. Um, autistic people have the sense of basically concentration on something which means that we can concentrate really hard on things it means sometimes we can't zoom out it's like having a broken zoom you can only zoom in you can't really zoom out again um, and but lots of people are always like animals and mine was cats because I was born with a cat in my family this was the cat you see on the screen which is my cat I was born with um, and people connect to cats. Has anybody ever seen this cartoon?
it it's one of my favorite cartoons i saw it earlier because it kind of resembles why obviously people connect to animals so well animals can't talk back in that sense can you willow no you can't you can't talk back so They're a bit like a sponge for our, our struggles and our emotions and our thoughts and feelings. Um, and that tends to mean that we connect very well to them. Um, but it's, as I said, it's, it snowballs. So I started to look at my family and then people start fueling your obsession which you're obsessed with because it's a way to connect with you I guess so I have had a birthday recently and I had one card out of all of them which didn't have a picture of a cat on it somewhere people start talking to me about their cats which I I don't disagree with however it does fuel it I need to go in a minute because I've um, got a cat that wants to go out at the moment. And I think I've said what I need to say anyway. So before my cat starts to have a riot, I hope that makes sense to you. If you have any questions, please write them in the comments and I will answer them in the next session. I hope you en enjoy my vlog and I'll see you next week. Due to the live props in the form of my three cats, you may have experienced a bit of jolting due to the part filming of this episode. I hope this has not been too much of a problem. From Bliss, Puskin, Willow and I, thank you for listening and we'll see you next week.